the contraceptive implant. The implant is a popular method of long-acting reversible contraception, or LARC. It's chosen more and more by women of any age. It's over 99% effective, more effective than condoms or even the pill. The implant is a small, flexible plastic rod. It's fitted just under the skin on your upper arm. It works by releasing a tiny amount of a hormone called progesterone into the bloodstream. The progesterone stops your body from releasing an egg each month, so preventing pregnancy. The implant is almost invisible under your skin, so nobody else can tell it's been fitted. Why do women choose the contraceptive implant? It doesn't get in the way of sex, unlike condoms. Once fitted, you can forget about contraception for three years. Once removed, your fertility will return to whatever is normal for you within days. Before the procedure, the implant can be fitted at any point in your cycle, provided there's no chance you could be pregnant. We ask that you don't have unprotected sex for at least three weeks before fitting. This includes sex when your method of contraception has passed its expiry date, or using withdrawal or natural methods of contraception. How is the procedure done? It only takes a few minutes to put the implant in. First, you'll meet the clinician who's fitting your implant. We'll ask you about your medical history, do a pregnancy test if required, an STI test if needed, and answer any questions. We'll numb a small area of your arm with local anaesthetic, which may sting slightly for a few seconds. Then we'll slide the implant under your skin. You might feel some pressure, but no pain. We'll put a dressing on your arm to cover the small cut made by the insertion. Most clinicians also apply a pressure bandage to reduce any bruising. After the procedure. Most women feel well enough to leave the clinic straight away and can travel home by bus, taxi or car. You may like to bring someone with you to take you home. After the local anaesthetic has worn off, you may have some tenderness or swelling around the implant. This can last for a few days, and the area may look bruised for up to a week or two. If the implant is fitted during the first five days of your period, you're protected from pregnancy right away. Otherwise, we advise additional contraception, such as condoms, for seven days. We'll give you a card with the expiry date written on it. Keep this safe. The device can be removed at any time. We recommend you use an alternative method of contraception before the removal, so there's no gap in your protection against pregnancy. Side effects. Most women have no problems. Around 1 in 10 women notice hormonal side effects in the first few months, such as headaches, breast tenderness, weight gain or spottier skin. The side effects usually settle and they occur with other progesterone-only methods of contraception. We recommend trying to find the method that's best suited to you. The implant can affect your periods in three ways, but we can't predict your individual outcome. For one in five women, periods stop altogether. Three in five women have bleeding that is either infrequent or light, but it is acceptable to them and they are happy with the device. However, one in five women have bleeding that is prolonged or frequent. If this happens, we might suggest you take the contraceptive pill in addition to the implant for a few months. Risks. Very rarely, your arm can become infected. We'll provide you with full wound care instructions. It's safe to use the implant while breastfeeding. It shouldn't affect how much milk you produce, and it won't harm your baby. In fact, the implant is a great method to use if you're breastfeeding and you don't want to get pregnant. Importantly, the implant does not protect you against sexually transmitted infections. We recommend using condoms until both you and your partner have both had an STI screen. Questions or concerns? If you'd like to see or chat to a member of staff about any part of this video, please get in touch.